were getting paid for last week, right? Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, welcome back, everyone, to This Week in Sin. I am your host, Gavin. Let's jump right in. This week, Cinema Sins lampooned Star Wars The Last Jedi and Geostorm. With Geostorm making it at the top with 141 Sins to Star Wars' 121. However, one Jeremy Simser of the Time Traveler's Wife fame is claiming that Cinema Sins did not go far enough in the sinning of The Last Jedi. Which brings us to our newest segment. Sins They Missed by Jeremy Simser's Twitter account and dramatically read by Gavin. Hey. Hey. <coughs> you know, my opinion of Poe's actions in The Last Jedi would be totally opposite if he had just fucking learned from his disastrous dreadnought mission. Dead heroes, no leaders, Leia says. And then he just does it again at his first opportunity. Fuck that guy. Haldo gives a speech about how the resistance must survive. Hope, 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 blah, blah, blah. Speeches are nice. Maybe be smarter. And I don't care! Who says otherwise? Considering we know what happened in the past, and after Return of the Jedi, it does matter who Snoke is and where he came from. Finn just said, the fleet's only got 18 hours of fuel left. Which means Rose loves Finn in 18 hours. I call bullshit. She'd still be stinging over Finn, literally stepping in front of her to shut her up. That little drunk alien guy was so drunk that he just kept dropping hundreds of coins into BB-8. And BB-8 obviously, with nothing but time on his hands, lets him. Ah, the dog horse racers are just going to go back out to that field and recapture those dog horses. I mean, they're right there. But yeah, Rose, totally worth it. Job well done. So wait, they needed a master codebreaker to open a door. Why do the knuckle walkers make animal noises? Hmm. I would full on love this movie. If Luke, upon facing Kylo on a salt planet, said, you know, that lightsaber is a real piece of shit, Ben. How do we build a rebellion out of this? We have everything we need. Eight people in a ship. Oh, and hope. In case you forgot about the hope. Also, Be dead. Let's check in on music video sins. This week, they sinned One Kiss by Dua Lipa and Calvin Harris, uh, along with Bartier Cardi by Cardi B. Cardi B with the high score of 107 to 36. Now it's time for the countdown to Sin of the Week. Unpasteurized Thales Siren Milk. Let's just get the panel and see what's on those drives. I'm stating the exact mission that you just told us 30 seconds ago in case anyone has that memento condition in the theater. I'm turning the clock back to 1945 when America was a shining city on a hill. MAGA. Abby Cornish, T-1000. <laughs> BB-8. I was cleaning my blaster, it went off. This is exactly the excuse I would tell my ex-girlfriend whenever she caught me masturbating. I, I could explain everything. Mm, that sounds really pervy. What? What about that statement is pervy? I mean, if he had said, I was f***ing her f***ing while wearing your f***ing f***ing my own f***ing f***ing off the d*** who was f***ing off the f***. Now that would be pervy. There's no gravity in spe- Hold on. I know I've screwed this up before, so let's try this again. There is no force that would cause these bombs to simply fall straight down onto the dreadnought like how gravity works on Earth. Let the past die. Kill it. If you have to, that's the only way to become what you were meant to be. And that, my friends, was the mantra recited during the writing of this script in direct relation to the Star Wars franchise. You gotta admire the balls on this movie. I almost want to remove Sins for it being so ballsy, but you know how we do. 
Bingo. Looks more like a dildo to me, but I get those words confused sometimes too. It really gets them riled up on Tuesday nights at the Assisted Living Center. I wasn't here last week as I was off on assignment. But I am here to bring you part one of the expose of the CinemaSins conspiracy. CinemaSins has gone on record saying that they hate reboots. In fact, the first movie they ever sinned was The Amazing Spider-Man, with their first ever sin being this movie exists. We have uncovered CinemaSins deepest, darkest secret. The show itself is nothing but a reboot. I have in my hands the very first episode of the original series from 1969. And we are going to show it in its entirety. I must warn you that once this next tape starts, it will not stop because that button is broken. Our very credible source has asked that they remain anonymous and we shall respect their wishes. No. I mean, I don't got no respect from anyone. Well, last week my house was on fire. My wife told the kids, be quiet, you wake up daddy. Leave it to Beaver. Starring Barbara Billingsley. Leonard Maltin is the founder and creator of CinemaSins. It makes all the sense. How is it that these movie-hating assholes got the likes of Leonard Maltin to do their Sincast podcast, now available on iTunes, Google, SoundCloud, and anywhere else you find your podcasts, uh, as well as cinemasins.com. We will continue to update you on this ever-evolving story. And now, predictions. The clue this week is camping movie sins and uh, kids movie sins. Frank's going to go ahead with Paddington 2 for kids movie. And uh, for camping, I, he honestly has got nothing. Not a damn thing. So he just decided to Google camping movie, hit I Feel Lucky, and ended up with Moonrise Kingdom. So there you go. And now, outtakes that they missed. This in spite of the fact that we actually built the thing. Can't have it. You have been flouting that authority. I have report after report here. Failure to follow procedures. Numerous violations of the chain of command. Well, then what are you doing living out here? First off, I am 35 years old. I am divorced. And I live in a van down by the river. That's my bad. I was sending a tweet. Why we are here are not among them. Those answers we carry inside. I am Optimus Prime, and this message is to my creators. Leave planet Earth alone, because I'm coming for you.